Hi, Chef Anthony here with Don's Appliances. Today we're going over the Wolf Wall Oven. Whether it be single or double oven, you're going to see the same features in this. This is the E-Series model with the smooth. You could either get the Pro Series with the big knobs, but you're going to see the same fit and finish on the inside and features. So, let's open the oven door. I'll talk about the control panel and the functions at the end of this. I really want to talk about the interior, kind of explain where the convection is your heating elements, things like that. So first and foremost, this oven has three heat sources. So this is the bake element on the bottom, so it's smooth top, it's a hidden bake element. Broiler element on the very top here, and it's a mirrored broiler finish. So when I say mirrored, there's a little metal plate on the top that really heats up the broiler element and really carries that heat across. In the very back there, that's where our convection fans are. So this is a twin fan convection oven. So this is a side-by-side -side convection. In your oven, it might be a Vertacross, which is a two kind of two Pringle cans in the corners and really Vertacrossing the air. This is convected straight on in this E-Series, but that's where our third heat source is. That's what makes this oven big, bad, and powerful, okay? We have glide racks here, so these are continuous glides. Very nice, can hold up to about 35 to 40 pounds. Super heavy, super convenient for roasts, you know, Thanksgiving turkey, things like that. These will be removed though in the self-clean. So think about that, you know, remove these in that self-clean because they will tarnish and the ball bearings on here will melt. So interior has a great little finish on here. We have our uh, lighting, cascade lighting, which is nice. So we're gonna close this door and we're gonna talk about the setting. So on our top left here, our first setting is our bake setting. This is our standard bake setting. So this is no convection, this is just bake. The only time I really stress to customers that I use this is when there's a cheesecake and a water bath in the oven, things like that to where there's open liquid that the convection pan sloshes, makes a mess, kind of goes all the way through. The next is our roast setting. So this is gonna use our broiler element and our bake element together coming down. This is an ideal setting for, you know, to do pizza stone or even just to do like a roast in a crock pot, like a chuck roast with a lid on it, something where the convection really doesn't matter because, you know, we're not talking about the top of it. This has a warming feature, so we can hold all of our fully cooked food at a warm temperature, kind of mimic a warming drawer in here. So think about that, it's a nice option whenever everything's done, dinner's ready to roll, you wanna hold casseroles, you wanna keep hors d'oeuvres hot, there is a warm setting. The next is our clean setting, so this will run our clean cycle. So you could run a delayed clean, you could run a, um, a three type of clean, but you know, for all intents and purposes, this is a sealed system, so kind of we don't need to run the clean cycle. You can really get in here with a magic eraser, some vinegar, some uh, baking soda, the part keeper's friend even, and kind of clean it up and um, you know, use some elbow grease. Next here, I'm gonna talk about our convection settings. This is really what makes this oven super powerful. So this just says convection on this one. This is pure European convection. So what I mean by that is we're just gonna use that twin fan in the back pushing air out to the racks. This is where we use multiple items. So three trays of cookies, you're gonna do a roll of breadsticks, you're gonna do a casserole, you're gonna keep baking nine pies, you're gonna go crazy. This will give you the most even heat from rack to rack to rack, okay? The next one, this is our convection roast. So we're gonna use all three heat sources here. We're gonna use the convection fan, we're gonna use that broiler element, and we're gonna use that bake element. My prime example of this is Thanksgiving turkey. So that turkey needs the brown on the top, needs heat from the bottom, needs that convection to fly all the way through. Same thing with your prime rib, your tenderloins, even your holiday ham. So think about that for all three heat sources to kind of really you know, get everything going, even to roast some vegetables, even if you're gonna do some root vegetables, baked potatoes even if you're not the, the meat-centric crowd. Next one is our proof setting. So we're gonna hold it at 85 degrees. The oven's really gonna heat up to 85 degrees. Convection fan's gonna run. This is to make any yeast raised dough double in size. So think about your pizza dough, your French baguettes, sourdoughs, any type of dough that you're really gonna make that requires proofing. So you could take one of these racks out, put it in here, proof your dough, then really go right into the baking process. So really takes the guesswork out of you know, your dough rising. And it works great with cinnamon rolls. Those pop top cinnamon rolls, you know, whether the store bought ones, you can pop them in here, proof it, they'll puff up really nicely. And the dough is the correct temperature 
to bake. So think about that, you know, little chef tip there. Once we jump into gourmet, gourmet is Wolf's um, pre-programmed recipe. So this is super helpful, super convenient. We can go anywhere from meats, fish, baked goods, pizzas, one dish meals, or even sheet pan dinners. But I'm gonna focus on the meats one. So we're gonna highlight meat, we're gonna go with beef, and then we're gonna go with steak, prime rib, tenderloin. Let's do the prime rib, okay? So we'll hit prime rib. It'll ask us how we want it. And this is not great to do in tandem with a roast probe. So if we wanna do it medium rare, we're gonna do it medium rare, okay? Then we're gonna hit done. Then it's gonna show us what rack to put it on. So it says number two. So if you look on the left, you're like, where's number two? You look on the left side of your oven or the right side, there's all these numbers. So number two is the bottom rack. Okay, and it really tells us what it's gonna do. It says it's, we're gonna convection roast it at 450 for 30 minutes, then roast at 225 till the roast probe is 135 degrees. You're like, wait, chef, what's the roast probe? And I have it up here. So if you saw this in your manuals and didn't know what it is, this is your internal roast probe. So we're gonna go like this. It plugs in just like headphones, just like that. And now this is the internal roast probe for your oven. So we're actually gonna put it in and you know, we don't have any protein on here, but we put it right into our prime rib. We would close the oven door, put it rack, and then we would hit start and really jump into the roasting of the oven. So it really does, all we have to do now is really hit the light and watch it work. But this is really what it's gonna do. It's gonna roast it to a great temperature really going to do the internal it's going to be right on and at the end of the cooking process it knows it reached temperature see we're at temperature i like that already so it'll show us and it's really going to go to a keep warm setting so we don't overcook it let me shut that off because you know you probably can't hear me over that <laughs> but gourmet setting ton of great features from fish to vegetables really to help you, you know, jump start, really get cooking like a professional. Whether we do roasted vegetables, baked potatoes, sweet potatoes. So, you know, you can go one touch for all of this stuff. We jump into more and here's our more mode. So this is kind of where we get, you know, kind of some of our funner stuff. This is to, the next one is to connect your product. So this is a Wi-Fi based product. So we can download the app, you know, add in, register our product, and we can really monitor it from our smart tablet, device, anything. So connect is a great one. The next one, we got a stone setting. So this is a dedicated pizza stone setting. What it's gonna use is the top and the bottom. We can actually pop in a pizza stone cold, really go and have a nice pizza party, do some baked Italian hoagies, even do some salt cookies. Another great one. Next stone, next is a dehydrate. So we have a dehydrate setting here. The fan speed spins up real fast, lowers the temperature. This is ideal to do apple chips, banana chips, beef jerky, things of that sort. Wolf does sell you a uh, assisted dehydrating rack that goes in, a dehydrating kit, I should say. They also have a uh, pizza stone as well. If you're looking in the market, and you wanna keep it all in the same house. They do have some accessories. So they have the pizza stone, they have the dehydrating rack, and they have roasting uh, pans. So they, they'll have that blue shiny coating. And the cool part about their roasting pans, you can check them out online, or if you need some additional info, you can reach out to me, but they could sit right on the rail so you can really get you know up to six trays in here. So if you're thinking about maximizing your oven for cooking a lot, you know, think about some of the accessories that we offer for these products, okay? Uh, that'll cover all the more modes and anything else. Um, this is a stainless steel model. We would use our Dawn stainless steel on here, spray it, and we would go left to right with the grain. It's really the only thing we worry about in cleanability. But hope you go over, hope this helps you go over your features and benefits from your Wolf wall oven. Thank you so much and enjoy the video.